So today the temperature is 21 degrees and so my mom, we're having trouble with keeping the chicken's water warm so it keeps freezing. So I was given the job of seeing what we could do about that. So I researched it and I found out that if you take a, a 20 ounce bottle and then you take a quarter cup of rock salt and you put it in there, and then you fill it up the rest of the way with water, warm water for best results. So our problem is we don't have enough salt. This is all we have. So we need to figure out if we can use the other, a different kind of salt. Go pro, stop, stop recording. recording. So my mom got out the Himalayan pink salt. I like pink. <laughs> So I we're like, gonna see like if we can get cups. if we should. Like I don't if it'll work. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and fill it up. All the way. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Go pro. Stop recording. So we found this funnel, and we're now gonna put in the the salt. It's pink water! <laughs> take this time to go ahead and insulate because I've been needing to do that. Um, I didn't buy any insulation. I just thought I would use what I had already in this building. And it's some, um, it's some styrofoam insulation. And basically you just put it in there. And then if I don't cover it, the chickens will peck it. So I found these blue mats um, that you can see them kind of over there behind Tommy. Um, I found those blue mats. They're kind of like, um, I think it's what the people that lived here before us used to put down underneath the wood flooring <coughs> downstairs. And I think it's supposed to reduce moisture. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to staple it to the, the studs to cover up the styrofoam insulation so that the chickens don't peck it and eat it. Okay, so... I bought this timer. I should have showed it before I cut the package open, but um, I bought this timer. It's just like a cheap timer from Walmart. And um, I was like, oh, this should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, and I'll just get it out of the package and plug it in and I'll know what to do. And I did not. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to read the directions now. But the idea is to plug the lights into this um, so that way I don't have to come out here at night to cut the lights off. I can just, and I don't have to, I can just come out to feed them and water them every day. I don't have to worry about getting out here at a certain time so I can cut the lights on. Um, so this will turn the lights on and off whenever I need them, but I've got to figure out how to do it first. So. I guess it's time to read the instructions. Okay, 
Okay. So this is why I was confused. So it says AM right here under 12, and it says PM under this 12. So I thought that this, I don't know why I thought this. I thought this whole entire dark shaded area was like AM and then this was PM. But it just means that this is 12 AM and this is 12 PM. So you just put it on whatever time it is now, which is like around one o'clock, I don't know. Um, and then you push up the pins, like whatever time you want it to go off or whatever time you want the lights to go on, you click those up. So I want the lights to go on at 6 a.m. and I want them to cut off at 8. So I just need to, let's see, goes this way. So I want them to go off at 8. So everything before that I need to push up. And these chickens keep getting a hold of the styrofoam. It's about to drive me crazy. Wait a second. Too far. I went too far. So from six. Wait. Did that wrong again. I'm still confused. Okay, I finally got my life together and figured it out. So you basically, you know, you just lift all the little pins up. Right now it's about one o'clock. The lights are gonna go out at eight and then they'll stay out until six and then they'll cut back on. So you just plug in your lights to this timer and it cuts it on and off. I think this is really gonna make my life a lot easier. Okay, so another thing that we've done in the coop, um, Mr. Fitz loves me so much. He came out here in the cold and he put a camera up in the coop. I've gotta figure out a way to get this cord up out of the way because right now it's like hanging in front of the door but whatever so um he put the camera up for me and i can watch my chickens from anywhere i want on my phone with that camera and it even has night vision so that at night when the lights go out i can still see them so as you can see, I've only done like the top or the bottom half of the coop. Um, I'm almost out of the styrofoam stuff, so I'm going to finish it out with uh, fiberglass insulation. I do have quite a bit that somehow the people that lived here before us, they left it up in the barn loft. So I'm going to drag that out and go ahead and get that installed um, another day. Today I am done in the coop. Um, I think this will, even just the amount that I've done has added some um, warmth to the coop. Um, so that's where I'm going to stop for now. Um, and then another day, maybe this weekend, I'll come back out and finish it out with fiberglass insulation. Okay, so we tried the, we tried the salt in it and we found that it worked but we had to switch it every two days so that's a long time and they don't even eat drink a whole water a day so they basically get two days without the water freezing gopro stop recording